Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well Scorpio. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. Okay, uh, this reading for today, it is for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what is coming towards you Scorpio. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the Scorpio sign please. This reading for today Scorpio, I'm doing this on the day of the eclipse. Let's look into your eclipse reading and October, November energy. Let's see what is coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the message that is meant for you to know? And ready for you to know, this uh, This is a um, collective reading for the Scorpio sign. This is your daily collective reading, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming towards you, okay? What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Oh wow, look at that. It's it's just a soulmate, okay? Okay, this is a soulmate reading. Let me just fix my microphone. <clears throat> okay. Okay, that is much better, Scorpio. Thank you for your patience. You have the lover's card, the eight of pentacles in here. The four of swords, okay. <clears throat> How are you, Scorpio? I hope you're well. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for the love notes. Okay, thank you for connecting with me via my website. Thank you, Scorpio. Um, all right. So the hidden energy is a nine of pentacles in here, the six of swords, <coughs> the ten of swords. So, Scorpio, let's start your reading. You're starting the reading with the lover's card. Um, you know, the lover's card, this is a romantic energy, but it feels like the lover's card, in terms of your energy check in Scorpio, I could feel that you're going to put a lot of focus, one of the things intuitively that this eclipse and new moon will activate in your sector scorpio is money and security okay the lover's card is eight of pentacles okay like this too speaks to me that you're going to fall in love again with your hobby with your work there's something that like really putting your heart and soul towards a project towards a focus it's it's something it's something that like you believe in the step-by-step -step action and process and there's money in here i know it's the lover's card but i could feel money money security okay the lover's card the eight of pentacles in here you know it's a it's a feeling where you've never felt this strong like you felt you felt so strongly connected to your work to your job and it feels like you're falling in love again and feeling inspired to your work to your job or something that generates money and productivity in your life okay with the lovers card and the eight of pentacles in here so like what i said there's so much focus to activate money security productivity and also i'm kind of picking up scorpio that you know with the lovers card the lovers card is here it's it's like making a prime time for you to get your finances your ambition your money your savings in here because four of swords there's something at the end of this year you know that you would like to just relax and be zero you know zero debt you know um there's something that okay the lover's card the eight of pentacles let me sort out money security whatever i need to do uh, i need to be in a prime time position to really get my you know act finances focus together so at the end you know by december 2024 you can just relax you can just focus with festivity in christmas and shopping and like you, you there's something with uh, october and november that you're going to grind so by the time you reach november month i uh, sorry december month you're very happy with whatever you have saved whatever there's some rearrangement that you're going to do there's something in here because the lover's card the lover's card is a card of one with your ambition 
okay the lover's card is being being heart and soul to what you work to what you do and you're doing that because you want to achieve something i feel like it's a buildable energy scorpio it's building up in the background you would notice yourself you're very focused into your you're very focused into making things like you're very focused scorpio to completing tasks like um making your money security finances in order i'm also picking up scorpio that in the next three months um it's the the four of swords in here it's like it's necessary for you scorpio to look into a foundation in an, an area of your life connected to money security how you generate money how you save money where do you pay your money or in a you know in a in a day-to-day -day basis scorpio where is your time going is is to like in 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 24 hours is your time going towards something pr productivity you know so there's a lot of that that making like you're 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 introducing a, a start fresh something that will not overwhelm you in terms of how you really manage your money your time your business making your finances in order and you don't want to be super duper strict to yourself like whatever it is whatever style okay whatever style or strategy that you would be putting in place scorpio in terms of finances money security um ambition career you want to you want to feel relaxed you don't want to feel overwhelmed you want to fall in love with your strategy okay like you don't want to overburden yourself with um a strategy something that because the the if you look at the four of swords this is like the next three months so you want to end 2024 with finances life in order without super duper being stressful you know like you can work and have fun at the same time so you would notice that i could feel i could feel scorpio that you're planning something october november by december you're going to relax okay there's something in here connected to finances a change of job savings paying loan paying what you owe to other people or to the bank you were gonna you're gonna clear it okay i'm also picking up with the lover's card if you continue this focus there is how do you call that um like unexpected cash flow scorpio yeah look your goal is to make your finances stronger and also your focus like you want to strengthen or somehow like you you want to be in a prime like you want to be in a prime time position to really order things like to make things in order daily weekly monthly especially connected to money security and also every every day like it it feels like okay what how is my production level how is my productive productivity level how is my money so you're going to check that you're going to check in with your finances and productivity on a regular basis but it's not overwhelming with the lover's card it's something fun maybe you're going to download an app maybe you're going to write it down but there is a strategy that you would put into place to make things in order you're very focused in the lover's card you will discover a strategy that you're going to fall in love like oh you know like you would discover scorpio wow this is really working i need to keep this focus i need to keep this strategy okay maybe you're going to write it down uh but it's something is going to strengthen like it's going to strengthen your productivity it's going to strengthen your inst like it's going to strengthen your interest and it's going to restore your passion to being ambitious productive and also hustle like work hard and have some fun scorpio okay because you want to end 2024 with a relaxing vibe maybe you're gonna buy a house maybe something that you will be able to afford at the end of this year but there's something all of your hard work you want to you it will pay off december 2024 okay you're planning it now that's how advanced you are scorpio amazing now what else is coming towards you, scorpio you've got the hierophant card you've got the ace of swords and the two of swords hmm this is a commitment it could be a taurus it could be a gemini libra aquarius but there is an incoming commitment scorpio the hierophant card 
the four of swords again the thing is you Scorpio this is one of your focus could be the next three seven ten days a portion of the month of October probably up until December but this is one of those constant reminder this is like it's it's gonna be pinned in your to-do list you know to make sure that your finances is in order now look at that you have a four of swords in here Scorpio I could feel Scorpio with the four of swords and the four of swords in here because you're because you're so immersed with ambition saving money improving your life in finance it's like i want to experience a lot in life sunshine so i'm going to improve my finances so it's comfortable for me to live okay now because of that focus in the next three seven ten days a portion of october you might not be searching for love or looking for love because this is going to occupy your mind you know S something is going to keep you busy that it's going to take you away from maybe social, maybe networking, maybe, I don't know, something that you're not putting a lot of pressure, okay? Uh, it could be, you you could slow down into dating, you could slow down into, um, like you're very mindful who you spend your time, like if the person is worth it, then okay, I'll drive 30 minutes, spend a coffee and a dinner to catch up with you, but if it's not worth it, you'd rather just hustle or be productive at home and keep on searching inspiration and keep you know improving your life so you are comfortable okay now because of something that will keep you busy uh you could unexpectedly not look for love or not you it's like a feeling of you're not looking for love you're not looking for friendship but there you go a commitment is coming in okay i don't think you're searching for this it's it feels like something unexpected um like this is unplanned, unplanned connection, unplanned return, unplanned, there's something um, like, um, there's something unplanned about this, un un unexpected reconnection, thank you spirit, well, the Hierophant card, the hidden energy is the nine, so the person that is committing to you or offering commitment to you, it's very old-fashioned, so uh, whether it's an offer of commitment connected to friendship, connected to work, connected to love, it's kind of old-fashioned. So um, if this is a company, expect that the interview, it won't be done via Zoom. It will be face-to-face. -face. If this is a lover, um, there's something very traditional and old-school about this offer. But the thing is, although it's a bit old-school, traditional, the offer is a nine. It means that you won't be disappointed. I feel like there is an extra effort. Like there is an extra effort to accept this or process this, Scorpio. But they're worth it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, Scorpio. So, um, and I'm hearing the word something wonderful, but old school. Okay? Like I'm, I'm really picking up the vibe that it's old school. So... It could be a person that they don't have a social media <laughs> for some of you, but maybe they're not digitally like me. I don't have, I, I have Instagram, but basically it's for business. I, I do have a personal account, Instagram, but I'm telling you, I only have 32 followers and I have Facebook, but I mainly use it for my mom, the messenger, but I don't have a Facebook account. It's just a messenger. So what's coming towards you between now to November it's an old school an old-fashioned way of offering commitment to you okay um, it's worth it Scorpio it has a solid one solid offer nine of Pentacles you would have to it's not complicated it's it's a bit old school which means that it's like it, it's giving me a vibe that the process is a bit longer and a bit wonderful and unusual at the same time it's like old school maybe this person they will call your telephone <laughs> but there's a bit of an old school systematic way of how this person is going to offer you their um commitment like whatever co like whoever this person or situation is it's old school um it's worth it it's not um 
it's old school but it's not difficult it's not complicated and it has a solid offer two of swords let's look at the two of swords this is you this is what you wish for scorpio like you don't have a competition if they are inter if this is a job like if they are interviewing you it's just you if they are inviting you um expect that you are the only person like something to do with if there if there's some sort of preparation this person like expect that it's just you like if 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 this is a commitment offer whether it's job business platonic like you don't have to worry because you don't have a competition and the nine of cups the two of swords you won't get it scorpio like i could feel that you won't get it right away you won't there's something a bit hidden and old school or traditional a little bit slow this is a situation where it's a little bit slow maybe there's some you know uh, maybe there is some paperwork involved but be patient be patient you have a wonderful offer it's old school um, but it's worth it Scorpio ten of swords yeah six and ten um, yeah there is some there is some like I don't know maybe this person is slow <laughs> maybe this maybe the way they're presenting their offer to you it's slow but every time you kind of give up or wonder because this is you the two of swords like every time you feel like you're so slow or when it will happen you get an update like every time you feel impatient immediately this person or situation will give you an update so every time you're feeling um a little bit impatient or I don't know, there's a, there's a six, like, okay, six of swords and a ten. Maybe they're old school, you know, like, it's giving me a vibe that they're so, like, they're so very strict, like, okay, you have to sign and then you have to return it by mail. In fact, you can scan it. So that's a bit of old school. Uh, for some of you, it could be, it could be, I don't know if this is romance, it's like flowers it's like they're going to pick you up like old school you might find it a bit slow or a bit unorthodox not weird not a weird one but it's a wonderful feeling it could be a person that will give you flowers you know chocolate it's a person who's gonna probably say good night or good morning so <laughs> it's sweet but it's old school it's efficient it's it's very efficient it's solid but it's quite slow and maybe the systematic way of the way they're processing this offer it's there's more advanced or techy but they're not like that okay but they're solid and it's wonderful and every time you feel like okay I'm gonna give up okay like every time you feel like impatient they always come through to rescue you to to, to feed you and all of your impatience is gone especially if this is a romantic okay and whoever this person Scorpio they will always check in like um, they won't left you hanging they won't left you hanging they're they're slow but they 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 won't left you hanging every time you have doubt they always come in with some 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 very assuring message or email or update so hold this amazing offer close to your heart scorpio okay okay scorpio this is your reading scorpio thank you so much scorpio for supporting the channel thank you so much scorpio for being here if you would like to further connect with me scorpio you know what to do please click the bell please click subscribe i will see you soon again guys you have a great day